Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Empathetic Wanderers. If you're new to the channel, welcome and thank you. My name is Jeff. I'm from the United States. And for the past couple of years, I have been traveling primarily in Asia. And so I make content about travel, about food, about finding local spots when you're traveling, um, kind of how to get places, how to really just enhance your experience, um, how to connect better with people while you're traveling abroad. And so if that's content that you enjoy, if that's something that you find interesting, especially if it relates to Asia, because that's primarily where I, I, I video, um, then I do encourage you to subscribe and hit that notification bell to make sure that you don't miss out on any of the content that I'm putting out every single week. Uh, today, well, I'm in Seoul right now, but I'm heading to Busan. Um, so today I am just showing you guys how to take the KTX, which is the train that goes all around South Korea. And so I'm taking a train from Seoul down to Busan. Busan is in South South Korea. And so a couple weeks ago I filmed um, some of like some content about how to get a ticket when you get to the train station and all that stuff. So uh, there will, <laughs> I have, I have longer hair and a couple clips that I will show in a bit. Um, but I'm filming this now a couple weeks later cause uh, I bought my ticket a couple weeks early. So um, just wanna give you guys an idea of kind of how to get your ticket, kind of what to expect, what to expect when you get on the train, um, where you can get food, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and hopefully it helps. Uh, Busan is a really great city. I'm really excited to go back. Um, I haven't been in like five years. So um, let's head back to Seoul Station, get our ticket and get on the train. Okay, um, I needed to buy a ticket to go to Busan. So, this is where you'll head in Seoul Station to get on to the KTX when you are heading to a different city. Um, it's pretty self explanatory, but if you just walk up to any information person and just say KTX or where is KTX, because most of the information people here speak English. All right. So please part why is it focusing? Pardon my hair, but just grabbed my uh, just grabbed my ticket to Busan, which I will be heading in a couple weeks. Uh, I was planning on going on February 1st, um, but found out that that is actually the beginning of the Lunar New Year, which is basically the New Year's that a lot of countries in Asia celebrate um, more so than. Uh, at least in the United States when we celebrate the first of the year. Uh, so that's the holiday that everyone really goes home and sees their family and so travel is obviously very, very hectic. So it's apparently almost impossible to get a train ticket on that day. So I'm leaving it a day earlier, which is a bummer because I already booked my like accommodations and stuff, but it wasn't that expensive. It was a uh, 60,000 won, it's like about 60 US dollars, um, but it's a super easy way to travel and it's um, it's a little bit less expensive than a plane and you get to see the countryside, which I really love. So whenever I'm traveling, I really enjoy finding opportunities to take trains because it really gives me a chance to see parts of the country that I, pro I would not see if I was taking a plane. So. Uh, Super, super easy though. Um, you can get the tickets online, but I think you have to like register or something like that, and I'm not about that, so I just come to Seoul Station. Uh, the people, or at least the woman that I just spoke with, spoke English, um, and I would imagine most of the people that are at the ticket counter speak English enough, enough at least to say where you wanna go and what time you wanna go. Um, but yeah, 
pretty easy and I uh, hope this was helpful and uh, let's head out. I'm probably just gonna connect this video to my actual trip from Seoul to Busan, so even though this is three weeks earlier, I'm probably just going to have the next clip be when I'm getting on the train, uh, the KTX. So, uh, hope you enjoy, and let's go to Busan. There's a sign that says Wi-Fi. I haven't logged in yet, so I'll put a uh, little text right here, whether it worked or not. And yeah, I will see you all in Busan. We made it here to Busan. I just got to the uh, train station, just got off, so I'm gonna go try to find some Wi-Fi. Uh, there was Wi-Fi that worked on the uh, train, as you guys saw, which was awesome. The um, electrical optic thing was a little bit frustrating, um, but it was absolutely stunning. Like, I've never seen snow like that. So, really, really beautiful. Um, definitely something you can only do in Korea in the winter um, and after a snowfall, uh, so I lucked out, but I hope you enjoyed this content. I hope that you found this all informational and helpful on getting um, from Seoul to Busan and to, you can get to a lot of different places. So we stopped at like a number of big cities between Seoul and Busan on the KTX. So um, not terribly overpriced and obviously I would imagine that the other stops would be less expensive. So 
I hope you found this useful and informational. Please let me know in the comments if you've done this before, um, if there was anything that I left out, if you've ever been to Busan and what your favorite memory is here, um, if there's anything that I should do, because this is my second time here, so I'm really, really excited. Um, thank you so much. Let's keep being empathetic, keep being positive, keep wandering. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and see you in the next one. Bye.